everybody, welcome back to another East Coast video where we're looking at some of the guitars in the range. <laughs> this video is about the ST1, which is the most affordable of all the East Coast I guitars. I went to the doctors. Uh, <laughs> no, that's that a different really. ST. Oh, ghost. Okay. Um, okay, so the <laughs> ST1, as you probably worked out already, is, is uh, you know, a design around probably the most uh, iconic electric guitar shape of all time. It has spawned a million uh, clones of this guitar, and, and this is the yeah. East Coast one. So yeah. the ST1 is going to cost you £109 on its own. It's insane. Amazing value for a solid poplar it's body, insane. Canadian so maple popular. neck, real rosewood fretboard, three single coils, etc, etc. If you want, uh, we do these in bundles where you can get little amplifier and uh, all the accessories you need to Bond get started. Legs. And there's a 15 watt amp and a 30 watt amp, which Pete and I will jam out with at the end. And those, again, links below for all the pricing, are somewhere around about the sort of 170 to 200 pound mark. Mm. Uh, not for the amps, that's for the whole bundle. If you were coming from another video, you know, might have seen something else and then you're on here, or you want to, you see there's more guitars, then click up there or down here for more. Just See, click different, anywhere, just randomly click, click on the screen. Different East Coast guitars. Yeah, there's a whole videos, range. All of it. Whole so, range. Uh, full range chicken. ST1 got a few different colours. They're all basically the same guitar other than the fretboard material, which I'll talk about in a second. So, so Clapton. Yes. Uh, Dave Gilmore. Uh, no, Dave Gilmore here, right? And well, then this is Jimi Hendrix Marmon. over here. Or oh, actually, Jimi strictly Hendrix. speaking, oh, Jimi actually. Hendrix over here. Jimi Hendrix there. Uh, John Mayer here, maybe. Maybe. Mm. Maybe even John Mayer here. Uh, anyway, look. Hey. Uh, comment below yeah. what colours they remind you great of. Colors, yes. though, great colours. So if Don't you pop. like the uh, black or the candy apple red, uh, they come in a maple fingerboard. Uh -huh. uh, if you like the shell pink, mm. the Lake Placid blue or the vintage white, they come with a rosewood fingerboard. Uh, Proper rosewood There will be an enormous amount of debate uh, enormous. on the internet as to does rosewood or maple sound different. Uh, I think at this level, through this kind of amplifier, just buy the one you think looks nice. <laughs> um, well, it's a different, it feels a bit different. It feels a bit different, but you know, it level. looks a bit different. Yeah, so, maybe this Pete, level. Yes. please can we hear some tones from that sure glorious can. looking guitar? Yes, I mean, look at that. Right? Oh, by the way, and we're, for the for the tones, we're using a Boss Katana 50 and some highly affordable pedals on the floor, mainly from the brand highly. Tone City. Highly affordable. Yes. But well, this is just a clean tone. Net pick up. Swim on. <laughs> uh, let's go in position four and do the old. And that's pass. that. Yeah, and absolutely. Pass flying colours. So. so. Again, really yes. easy to play, nice uh, satin finish neck and 12 inch, right? Yep. Radius, so it's nice and flat, so, which makes I even it feel, easier to Don't you even feel like there's like a little bit of rollage going on here? Well, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, just a bit, just a little bit. Okay, middle position. Position number two. One wants to put an angel ring on and play. Hang on, what can I hear? Uh, I can hear last train coming, I think. Somewhere yeah. oh, oh, I can also hear like a. Uh, don't do that, we're going to give you a uh, copyright strike. <laughs> So I have a bit of a blues man here. Neck position. Thank you. 
Yeah, Christmas songs. You could get that guitar, the Boss Katana 50, which is still, if you need something a little bit bigger than your little home practice amplifiers, still the one, and a couple of those Tone City pedals and still have changed from about 400 quid. It's nuts, right? That is nuts. It's do you nuts. still do the three for and get a free power supply? Two. Buy two, two Tone City pedals and you get the free power supply with it. Free shipping in the UK, all that kind of goodness. I mean, look. That's I'm so not even cool. done yet. I'm not done oh, yet. I'm, so I'm not sorry. done yet. I'm not I'm done so yet. That was, that, that was that. Now I'm just going to do the uh, bridge with some gain. Even more Adams. gain. It's it is Brian Adams, isn't it? Copyright strike. <laughs> There's a bit of a double. <laughs> So there you go. 100, 119. 109. No, 109. 109. Um, which oh, does remind me. On? So, uh, That's insane. again, there is a version of the ST2. Uh, sorry. There is a version of the ST1 called an ST2. Oh, my uh, God. Which is basically the same guitar, but with a humbucker at the bridge. And we do that yeah. in some different colors as well. So, again, go find that video in another Fine. video somewhere, probably in the links below. Um, and um, I've got to say, if there's, you know, this is the guitar that... Ingby. You know, uh, no, I don't own this particular one. Oh, sorry, okay. I mentioned there was left-handed, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, so yeah, they're yeah. left-handed, but only in the one colour. So obviously you can get the vintage white and left-handed. that colour's so good. The That's vintage white. such vintage, a cool colour. Vintage, vintage um, I can't say it. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so again, we've talked about in other videos kind of how old you have to be to start, you know, to have a, a, a full-size electric guitar like this. And I kind of feel like because the, because the ST style guitar is sort of one of the lighter and more compact ones mm -hmm. you can typically start on these maybe slightly younger than some of the other guitars but yeah. i would say sort of between eight and ten years old really is the sort of youngest you'll know you know if your child is tall for their age that's also something um, about having hands that's big enough to get around yeah. the, the here you know? yeah but you know. um so but hey, yeah i think because the price of the st1 is so so insane 109 and again it's crazy i'm on this mission i say me the whole of anderton's really is on this kind of mission where we just want as many people to learn to play guitar as Inspire possible it's such an people. awesome instrument uh and i kind of feel that better than drums you know <laughs> sorry it's <gone. laughs> that's fine sorry i agree um uh, especially when my youngest daughter goes daddy can i learn to play the drums like oh no yeah god where did um, that drum beat go i don't know it so disappeared all night what i was going to say was I, I do feel like it's very easy to jump onto some of those, you know, big internet sites that you buy all your groceries from and everything like that and go, oh, look, they sell a thing that looks like a guitar for £79, whatever like that. Oh, and look, it comes with an amp for £99. And it's just like, I bought them to see just how good they are. And they're just awful. Yeah, it's like, not great. Awful, it's awful. Not great. So really what we've tried to do with this East Coast range is get as close to that price as we possibly can, but where everything is good. So the guitars are great. The amplifiers are good. You know, they're not yeah. awful. So the, e starters. even the basic one is still a 15 watt amp with reverb, with built-in distortion, with a decent sized cabinet, so it doesn't sound like a you know yeah. jam jar type awful yeah. thing. Wasp and a jam jar. Um, so check them out, check them out. Take I mean, they're, again, I've got nothing against, you know, the brands like Squire and Yamaha and those Ooh. guys do amazing starter packs as well, but they are a bit more money. What I was trying to do with the East Coast thing was, was you know, get the price as close as we could to the kind of stuff that you might buy from your grocery store, uh, <laughs> but be Spence good. Uh, and so these probably <laughs> are going to be typically, you know, I don't know, 40 or 50 pounds more expensive for a pack, Worth it. 20 or 30 pounds more maybe for the guitar. Worth but it. yes what he Worth said. It. So Pete and I are going to jam out as it's become customary uh, in the end of these videos on the little amplifiers that you get in the bundles. Uh, so that's, I've got the 15 watt with reverb, Pete's got the 30 watt with reverb. Mm. Pedals are all these affordable Tone City ones. You can have tons of fun with uh, affordable pedals. These are all about 40 pounds each. Um, you, know, and you don't have to have pedals, by the way, I should say. That's just, that's like yeah, a fun yes, you thing do. to do. Of course you do. <laughs> Once you start, um, you know. But <laughs> thank you very much. Awesome. Yes, join us again if you want to find out, uh, the, as I said, the ST2 version of this guitar will be in another video. There's L-series, 
35 series, T, T series, yes. you can work it out, HM series for someone that wants to maybe be a bit more. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, right, onwards, and we shall see you next time. That's thank you, fine. Pete, for your beautiful playing. Thank you. Thank you. I don't thank you enough, <laughs> regularly. <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> <laughs>